uh, firms focusing on their unique needs and finding their place uh, translates into two areas to, to consider. Um, an organization has a uniqueness factor. So every bank has its own size, customer base, business goals. Uh, the modernization approach and the timelines that will be chosen should reflect these unique needs. Um, and it is quite common for uh, financial institutions to benchmark against their, their peers in the industry, but just because it works somewhere else, it doesn't mean that it will work in this organization if the context uh, starts to differ a lot. And sometimes the perception, the outside perception and reality of what's happening in the organization may not necessarily match. So it's quite easy to fall into the trap of it worked there, it should work here because it's same size. Well, the organization, the culture, the process, the services, etc. So all that context may actually have relevant differences. Uh, another area to, to look into is that there's a business value consideration. So uh, the cost benefit of the different modernization options and the timelines and the prioritization and the value of modernizing versus maintaining versus actually sunsetting. So that, that does need to be looked at and considerations like, do we do this modernization having a lens on a line of business? Do we look at the complete technology overall? Um, this needs to be taken into the organizational context. Um, so successful firms share, um, from what I've seen, share three common themes. One, they're focused on open architecture. They're adopting architectures and systems that allow its integration with new technologies. Um, they also have a strong focus on customer. So prioritizing customer experience, gathering and acting on customer feedback, and basically becoming a lighthouse for the industry segment where they operate in. And another area that is, uh, that is another team that is common to successful organizations is uh, focus on measurement and data driven. Um, they do define actionable KPIs. They measure customer satisfaction and needs. They look at business performance and operational performance. So the data is open within the organization while complying obviously with regulations and they're leveraging analytics, AI and ML to provide insights and supports decisioning. And this is both at, at an internal level to drive the business growth, but also to provide added value services to their customers at an external level. So tips or, tips or tricks for successful modernization. Uh, I'll probably say to focus on three things, uh, building a stronger team. So with expertise, both in, in the core banking technologies, but also in the business and in project management. Um, it's important to define clear goals, goals and continuously re reassess them uh, because the modernization is a gradual process and the goals may actually need to be revisited and adjust to make sure that there is a, a, a strong alignment between the overarching goals and the, the objective and achievable goals within the timelines that are um, being faced. And then also strong focus on communication to make sure that uh, stakeholders, customers, regulators, everyone is up to date and engaged in the process.